Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Rim World. Now in this episode, uh, well, first thing I should probably do, I just rewatched a little bit of my last video and I noticed I kept attempting to place down this comms console and then I kept getting distracted with other stupid things. I remember the reason why I was kind of distracting, getting distracted is because I didn't feel like placing it, you know, in some random location. I wanted to actually plan it out a bit. Actually, you know what? I sort of planned this room out with the ex expectation that I'd need three butchering tables, but that's really not at all necessary. So it's actually, I'd say it's perfectly all right for us to put it right here just because otherwise this area is going to just be dead space for the most part. Yeah, I think right here should be good. Especially if I, for whatever reason, decide to put doors there. Which I probably won't just because, you know, I don't want to expand towards my stockpile and then it's towards the mountain. Also, as, again, as, well, as per usual, I forgot to turn the volume down on my end. So it seems pretty darn loud. Alright, that should be a bit better. I'm using Shadow Play to record, so I have honestly no idea whether or not the in like the actual computer volume is what it records or if it just sort of records whatever it feels like. I'm not sure. Alright, so anyways, yeah, let's let them build that. I should get a look at what our resources look like because that's kind of important. Alright. Oh yes, and I remember one thing I was about to do at the end of the last video, so if there's one of you that watched the third part right before this and you're like why the hell aren't you doing this I just remember don't worry I need to uh, I don't need to draft him but I need to save mr. private Ryan yeah capture him I guess not really saving him I'm more or less imprisoning him and unfortunately he isn't an actual private he's just a settler so I just had to settle for that joke. Uh-huh. Huh. Oh, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Alrighty then. So, sorry about this. Alright, I had to adjust my microphone. For some reason, this microphone I'm using, it's a blue microphone. It's a blue snowball. And it's a pretty decent microphone, but it's quite old. And I've noticed that because I've sort of pushed it up and down so much, it sometimes likes to shrink down. And that's quite annoying when I'm recording, because then it starts picking up my keyboard sounds more than it's picking up my actual voice and I'm sure that's not very pleasant to listen to. Alright, I can speed this up a bit now. I don't really need to... There we go. We actually have got four beds. Well, three beds and one prisoner bed. But yeah, like I said, I'm hoping Mrs. Lady there will join our cause pretty soon. She seems to be relatively happy. She doesn't like the colonists being put to death, even though she, I feel like she wouldn't even know the colonists that I had gone and euthanized, but whatever. Oh, she's starving. Wait, what? Oh my. <laughs> I'm sure everyone who is watching this is probably facepalmed at this. Yeah, I sometimes do this, which is kind of sad. I'll just basically forget about food and my colonists will start to starve. Are they actually, like, health-wise starving? No, fortunately it didn't get to the point that they're actually starving, like, they don't have that health effect. Oh yeah, they just have been eat. they just stopped feeding their... Okay, I suppose we should probably... Oh, actually, this stuff is close to being done, isn't it? Oh, kind of. Oh, the strawberry's much closer. Yeah, I'll harvest some of these strawberries, just so we have a bit of food for now. Then I'll probably tell them to hunt, because that'll give us a bit more food in the long run and I also yeah I need to get at least a room down oh is this yeah this is steel so I should really I'm just gonna do this right away I'm gonna deconstruct all this and actually that's sandstone isn't it so might as well deconstruct that as well just so I can use it for something a bit more useful than just standing there so yeah got that down is there any no there are not any ships in range yet Oh yeah, and I need to remember to do the more important thing, which is harvesting. Yeah, I'll harvest like half of them, because that should hopefully keep us going until the rest are fully grown. Hopefully. There we go. 
I believe har harvesting also is a result. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's controlled by the plant cut thing, which sort of reaffirms my belief that putting that as a one is a good idea because obviously there's no reason I'd really be pur purposely telling them to harvest unless I was it was a result of me being an idiot and not having enough food. She's still starving. Oh, she is. Has it, why hasn't anyone... Oh, no. She just ate the raw food. Okay, then. Oh, yeah, and I really need to get a battery station down. And wow, these are really not producing anything. But I really need to get a battery station down, because as you can see, the output of these things fluctuates quite a bit. And because of that, I really don't... I, I, I really need batteries to actually hold some of this stuff for a longer period of time. What would be a good place to just put batteries? It really doesn't matter that much. To be honest, I think... Hmm. I think I'll just have them mine it, make the room into this rock face, just because then I don't actually have to build the building. And I mean, it should have an overhead mountain here, so I won't have to worry too, too much about, like, artillery fire. There, there is the possibility of leechers or something in the distant future coming through, but I guess if that happens, we'll just have to deal with it as it occurs. Actually, it would be much and more intelligent to go, like, right here because then I've got a lot more room. Let's see. So if I put two... Hmm. All right. The one thing I want to make sure I don't do, though, is I want to make sure, and I've had this problem before, I want to make sure there's plenty of room for the batteries so that they can be accessed on all sides. And the reason why is because every once in a while the batteries, well, if, if enemies set them on fire, or if there's a random battery short or circuit sort shortage or whatever, I, I don't remember exactly what it's called in the game, but sometimes they'll just basically explode and set on fire. And I've met, had it before where like I only had the room like this big, and because I did that, there was a fire on this side that I could not put out because my columns could not access it. So I want to make sure there's ample amount of room for my batteries just so that if they decide to go on and blow up, I won't have to worry too much about it. Moran's a really good miner, I've noticed. Well, more or less. I think I might just be saying that because I remember in my last little test run, it just felt like mining was really slow. Like, it felt like the uh, Tynan, the developer, it felt like he nerfed it or something just because it just felt so slow. I don't know. Maybe I was an idiot and I was playing at one time speed, but I'd like to think I'm not that stupid. <laughs> And yeah, are these people being taken care of food-wise? Yeah. It appears to be <laughs> a little crowded. <laughs> well, I mean, there's kind of only... There's not enough room for more than, like, three beds. So, I, I understand your feelings there. <laughs> Alright. Do not, not yet. And actually, fortunately, we came across a compacted steel deposit. I think I called it iron before, which would make more sense, but no, you find steel. Which, I don't believe steel occurs in natural environment. I think it's a man-made product. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's the case. So you'd think it'd be iron, but no, it's steel. And wow, that's plasteel, which we really don't need now, and I don't want to take it, because all getting plasteel will do is it'll bring our colony's wealth up to the extent that we're going to get attacked by raiders that are far more powerful than we should oh my <laughs> uh someone snapped apparently i guess ryan is yeah ryan i think went crazy yeah ryan went crazy that's kind of funny how the brand new person is the one who went crazy as opposed to the one who's been in there for several days can we not oh i mean yeah there we go uh, I kind of don't want to send him in because that plasteel knife might take him down. Oh, never mind. Wow, look at Lady. Now I really want her. She just took him down by herself. So it didn't make a difference that I was an idiot and just wasn't paying attention. Though I suppose we should probably... Does someone really have to be a ward just to move him five feet? Uh, I think maybe I have to draft and then I can... No, I guess he's just going to... Because he's still in the prison room, it doesn't make a difference that he is just laying on the floor suffering to death so I guess I'll just have to wait eh I'm alright with him <laughs> repairing her first or healing her because even though she's much less damaged 
think she deserves it for taking him out all by herself. Who's in a poor mood? What is your problem, though? Yeah, unfortunately, I think this, this new colony hope sort of helps you along for a good amount of the early game, but as time goes on... What do you mean? Oh, so He says very crowded just because there's three people in a single room. So literally just him standing in that prison is making him angry. That's quite annoying. Actually, you know what? That'll make it look... <laughs> that'll make it look like a less crappy environment, which is kind of funny, but... Yeah, see, now it's no longer a very ugly. It's just no impressive bedroom. Oh no, that's, that's a personal belief of his. He just thinks he's not doesn't have a nice enough bedroom. Well, aren't you cool? Oh, actually, I forgot about that. I can move all these now. Yeah, that'll be good. And, oh, there we go. Now we're actually harvesting those crops for reals. Oh, and I should really put, I forgot that random wildlife does eat your food if you have it just sitting outside, so I should probably get a freezer if not for the if not to try to get the food to last longer to actually prevent stupid animals from eating it <laughs> I guess they're not really stupid they're if anything smart all right the question is do we oh we have plenty of sandstone all right good how do I just don't want to make this freezer is the question I suppose I'll just go kind of excessive and make it massive just because now we'll have all we need for the future and then what I'm gonna do I think is put a door here so that one if and when I decide to put my medical and whatever ward people have a lot easier access to you know feeding them and all that so there we go that's a pretty good idea as far as I can tell. put that there as well And actually, as, as far as I'm here, or as long as I'm here, I might as well put the stockpile down. Clear all, priority, I guess I'll do preferred just because I don't feel like getting rid of the food in there, so I'll just make this a higher priority so they always put food here before they bring it there. So, let's see. Yeah, foods. Yep, that's good. Oh yeah, and I also want to enable animal corpses so that when we uh, hunt some animals, if I decide to hunt a bunch of animals at a time, they'll just drag them in there so that they'll at least be preserved. Oh, dang it, Ven. It's unfortunate that he's the only... I believe he's the only warden, right? Yeah, he's the only one even... Wow, he's the only one even capable of being a warden. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, it's kind of sad that he's the only warden because it causes him, whenever he's in this area, to just get all pissy. <sighs> Christ, what is wrong with you? I mean, why are you even hungry? It's not like you don't have food. I hate it when they do that. Sometimes they'll, like, put doing a stupid task about actually eating. Oh, yeah, and it's also the fact that he slept on the ground. I, let me... Normally they uh, set ownership by themselves if they don't already have a bed. That's kind of weird that he didn't do that. I don't have any other beds randomly, do I? It's weird. Okay, now he should be happy that he's got his own room. Yeah, there we go. He's actually not going crazy. Yeah, and as I was saying, building rooms was a pretty high priority because now my colonists aren't slowly going crazy, at least not quite as much. Ah, oh, delicious water. Man, water is great. <laughs> okay. Slowly but surely building this up. Speaking of which, if I'm making the freezer here, yeah, this would be a good place to sort of make some crops then. And, hmm, hmm. I have a bit of a dilemma. I just realized, okay, because this geothermal thing is here. Oh, actually, wait. Oh, I forgot how big the geothermal thing is. I just realized it might be a bit too big. Eh, whatever, I can just make them all there if and when that becomes a problem. Oh yeah, just remembered. Yeah, they're not making much progress on that because I signed this. That's alright with me. This is kind of a bigger priority, I'd say. Although, someone should... Okay, someone should really... Go... Yeah, he's already locked in there. Someone should really build that door, you know? 
because a whole there's the whole lack of being able to exit. Okay. Yeah, as long as you put the start constructing the door, then it's you're able to go through it, fortunately. Alrighty then. So there's our nice little stockpile. And yeah, as I was saying, batteries are a pretty high priority because otherwise we aren't able to support this. And admittedly, it was kind of stupid for me to put all these auto doors in right away because those take, as you can see, 50 watts of energy. So those that, that uh, that's up quite a bit when you've got a bunch all around. Oh, hey, there's a raid. I guess we can try out our new turrets. Oh, <laughs> just realized. Yeah, those batteries are a high priority because not having them kind of makes this raid a bit might it might be a bit of a problem so we've got a guy with a knife a pistol and a shotgun he's gonna be the most dangerous without a doubt yeah he's gonna be the most dangerous we do not want to get up close and personal with him well we do want to get up close and personal but we don't want to be mid-range I guess so are they oh, I didn't <laughs> I was stupid I didn't actually put in or see whether or not it said they were attacking immediately because sometimes the attackers will attack immediately and sometimes they'll wait like a random amount of time usually it's like a day or so and they'll just camp out ooh bulk goods crate trader hopefully I didn't notice that too late because I did obviously miss it when it first occurred and yeah I did I do that too far too often I'll just randomly miss when the game does that and I feel like I feel like it shouldn't have been that much time that I would have missed it that would have been that was really stupid of me because I really need wood yeah, because I don't want to be... Because here's the thing as well. The material that something like a bed is made out of affects... Let's see. Rest effectiveness. And if you make... as This makes sense, because if you make the bed out of stone, the rest effectiveness is l lower because... Well, it makes sense, because... <laughs> sleeping on a stone bed probably is a lot less comfortable than sleeping on a nice, cozy wood bed. Though, admittedly... Regardless, if you had a comforter, it should make that much of a difference, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Are you just wandering? What are you even doing? Oh, he's like, I don't know, he doesn't seem to be able to figure out what to do. He might have just been wandering for joy. No. Oh yeah, and while I'm here, might as well extend this a bit. And I suppose I might as well put in two batteries. Well, three, just because, might as well get them started on that. Yeah, and I need to be thinking about when these guys are going to attack. Actually, yeah, I'll be smart, and I will go ahead and get out of the door. You designate power toggle so that, yeah, these won't be draining all our energy, For hopefully. How much? Oh, wow, this actually takes 200 watts. I don't know. It should be enough, though with what we've got going on, hopefully. Oh hey, they started attacking and I didn't notice. Well, I can salvage this, do not worry. That's kind of the problem with running on three times speed is that you can completely miss when they begin to attack you, especially when you're, and I'll, I'll admit, there's like, I don't know, uh, in this game, there's just so much information on screen that it's kind of easy sometimes to completely miss stuff. All right, let's see. Where's Doug? Get in here, please. I think we're going to barricade ourselves in here. Well, actually, Doug. Doug's out the rifle. I'm going to have him sort of snipe for us. There we go. Martin Moran, fortunately, didn't get uh, stabbed. Yeah, I'm going to have you fire. And you are a good shot, right? Well, decent, I suppose. There we go. Nice good shot to his torso. There's a second shot. I'm gonna have him, well, let's see. Also, well, that one's to his left leg. So now he's quite a bit slower, so if I need him to retreat, he'll be able to get away relatively easily. I'm gonna wait for him to hopefully get close to this door. I'm gonna have him go back here. Oh. Should do that as well. Doug is quite a good shot, I'd say. And now we're gonna have these guys go behind and 
melee this guy up. No, normally I wouldn't want to do 2v1 for melee, but because Mr. Moran has a... There we go, he's dead. Because Mr. Moran has a plasteel knife... Oh, shit. I forgot that the attack speed for that was as quick as it is. Oh, fuck, his right hand was shot off. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's gonna definitely be a drawback. Yeah, this was really poor organization by me. Well, especially just because I forgot how effective... Oh, is his... Are his legs shot? Actually, you know what? You start me laying. You go after him. You go after him as well. To be honest, though, I don't really want any prisoners because we already have two. And, yeah. But yeah, we're... We're, we're struggling to get convert them over anyways, so... Ah, uh, he's gonna get away. Screw it. So yeah, that was a really poor organization on my part. It's a good thing I didn't do hard difficulty because I'd probably... There's a possibility that that would have been a larger raid than it was. Or an extreme difficulty because there's a possibility it would have been an even harder raid and I would have just gotten completely annihilated. Fortunately, all that we got was a lost hand as opposed to a, well, lost head, <laughs> for instance. Speaking of which, someone should probably... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For now, all I will... Before... Yeah. For now, I'll make some medical beds here just because, obviously, I want people who are injured to not die. And you guys, reconsider your actions. <laughs> And you, are you a doctor? He is. Well, I don't know if he's, our, is he our good doctor? Oh, speak of which. We really don't need that. I'll unlock it if, if one of them gets an infection, for example, but we really don't need to be wasting it on, you know, smaller injuries like, you know, bruises and, well, his case it's not really a small injury, but... In this game, our lost right hand isn't the worst thing that could happen, especially when the when you start facing people with like, uh, what are they, pulse rifles and stuff, or grenades, you know, you can do a lot more than lose a hand. You can literally lose your entire head or legs or, you know, entire arm as well. Admittedly, there's honestly not much of a difference in this game I've noticed between losing, for example, a hand and an arm because there's no such thing as like a hand prosthetic you can only get a bionic arm so if you were gonna give him a new arm we're unfortunately gonna have to cut his entire arm off we can't just replace the hand I've noticed it's pretty oh that actually presents a a good thing for the future because he's such a melee heavy guy I might just give him a claw arm and Lewis, yeah, Moran, I've noticed, hasn't really gotten ups as upset as, like, Benton has, so I'm not so worried about him going berserk, because here's the thing, is, as much as having a claw hand would, you know, sounds cool, if you give it to someone who's really unstable, yeah, that can cause a lot of damage, I'm sure you could imagine. Alrighty, then. So, oh, you, well, where were you guys a couple minutes ago? You guys could have really helped out, you could have used you as some body... Well, human fodder, I guess. Because usually I've noticed the AI isn't the smartest, especially when it's AI against AI, because they'll just, they just don't use any sort of tactics. They'll just basically throw each other at each other. They don't even... In many cases, they won't even see cover. I've noticed. Well, hey. Bonus points is we got a shotgun, which isn't necessarily the best of guns, but I'd say it's better than a pistol. It's lower, it's it's obviously a smaller range weapon, but, and I guess that would have been a good, uh, having a door here might have been help, more helpful for this situation, because we might have been able to get to him before he decided to start aiming, but, whatever. No need to worry about the past. And actually, I'm going to call this episode here. I didn't really pay attention to the time, so honestly, this episode could have been from 19 to 25 minutes. So I'll just call it here. And thank you all for watching. 
and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.